Hey guys, it's Phoenix Automotive here again, and in this video we're going to show you how to fix the temperature issue readings on the Tundra 4.4 unit. First, you need your USB thumb drive and make sure that it's formatted to FAT32. How you check that is uh, you plug it in, and when it pops up, you can actually press the properties to see what format it is. So that's my thumb drive. If I go right-click properties, it should have FAT32. Now, if it's not FAT32, check the link below on the video on how to format your thumb drive to FAT32. So I already have a folder here called Tundra 4.4 Auto AC Temperature Fix, but on the description below, you'll have a Dropbox link that'll take you to this place right here. You'll have three files. One's a video on really just how to do this MCU update part, which I'll show you in this video. But first off, you need to do the middle file. Now this middle file is a zip file or a RAR file which is compressed so you're going to do a direct download and when you do a direct download it's going to be a RAR file. You need to extract what's inside this file and inside the file will be update.img and after you've downloaded all two or you really only need two of them uh, you can see my USB thumb drive inside this folder. Inside this folder is the video the extracted file called update.img and the vwairboxupdate.bin file. So to do the update.bin file, you first need to do the update file. We're going to move this update file outside of the folder. So it's like this. And we're going to eject the USB. After you eject the USB, take the USB out move into your unit. Here are the two USB ports. If one of them doesn't work, uh, try the other one. So if we plug this in, it will read the update.img file. You can see that the USB logo pops up around here. There you go. And it'll read the file update.img. You're going to press install. After you press install, the whole thing will run. It'll do an update. It'll do um, a reboot. We're going to press cancel. And just to make sure, you want to make sure uh, it's on the right software. So after you pressed install and it's done its reboot, go into settings. In system version, it should be 2018, November 15. That's the latest version for this video. Um, after you've done the update where it had the pop-up, you press install. Now we're going to do the MCU update so that the temperature issue is fixed on the reading here. So go into the top area, file manager and press the three lines top left go to usb storage which is right here and then you can see that the update.img file is on the outside we're going to move that back into the folder that we had earlier where it was on the laptop uh, yes we do want to move it go into this folder again you can see we have three files move this file the vw airbox update.bin outside of the folder so the bottom right will have more, press that, move to, and then we're going to move it into the mount USB storage, which is already here. Uh, it just needs to read MNT USB storage. So let me see. Yeah, MNT USB storage, press OK. And you can see that the file got moved outside. So if we press the three lines again, go to USB storage, it shows right there. Now that we have the file outside, what we can do is go into settings and run the update. Go into system version, yep, system version, press and hold, and the passcode is 7890, okay. Go into MCU upgrade, and you're going to make sure that it's on AirPane. Now it's already on AirPane, but what I want you to do is press plug box, then press AirPane again, just to make it set in. And then now you have all these options. You want to press on the CYT upgrade option. It doesn't show here, so what you're going to do is press somewhere on the white area and press and hold. There you go. So it changes. Kind of weird, but after that, press CYT upgrade and this whole bar should go through. So that's how to do the update. First, the update.img, then the VW Airbox update.bin. Make sure you do the update first. After this runs through, it should be good and it should show the right temperatures. And if you want to make sure if it's showing the right temperatures after this update, I'll show you the system version and you can verify with the 
system information. So go to settings, system version, and this is what it should have. 860B CK, this is the version for the MCU, and the app version should be 2018, November 15th. Uh, if you have any more questions, leave them in the comments below, or you can check out our website, email us, uh, message us on Facebook, and our number is there as well. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.